good beautiful morning everybody Silas back today we're off on another adventure I've got a lot to get done this week so we're just gonna go ahead and hop in the loader and get busy in short I have several people there's a spider hanging from my hat little itty bitty tiny thing okay anyway like I was saying in short I have several people coming to pick up some old vehicles this week uh, I may have to go pick up an old truck at some point in time but the main thing I want to do is I want to get started on all of these late model cars back here, cleaning all those out. As I've mentioned before, most of these, the converters are already gone. There are a few manifold cats, but I'll get those off. If they have aluminum wheels, I'm going to stack them back there in that pile. Now I know I just got done cleaning that pile out and I'm already filling it back in, but I just want to put all the ones with aluminum wheels all in one spot. That way when I'm ready, I can just zip through the aluminum wheels really quick. Maybe I can hire somebody to come out and help me for one day to get that done. Any that don't have aluminum wheels on them, I'm going to go ahead and take them out back by the crusher and stack them up back there. And good morning everybody we're back today and it stormed last night and I mean stormed we got absolutely torrential rain and you can see the water out here and it may not look like that much water and that's just because it was so bone dry out here and it's really sandy soil so it sucked up much of the uh, most of the water but boy it flat storm we lost power it was it was pretty pretty intense it was windy there was lots of lightning it was a pretty good thunderstorm I got some really really bad news though I left my drone out yesterday. I forgot all about it. I left it out and I get out here today and it is completely soaked. So I don't know if it's going to work anymore or not. I'm going to have to take it home, try to dry it out, let it dry for a while and hopefully it'll still work. Uh, if not, I just wasted a $1,200 drone. Money doesn't grow on trees, so I might not have any more drone footage for quite a long time. But I'm not going to stress about it. I'm just going to hope it works. We'll find out here in about a week or so. back on the road again it seems like here lately i've been putting a lot of miles on this truck i've been on the road a ton and i don't know if you've looked lately but diesel's getting a little bit on the expensive side once again fortunately there is a way to get at least a little bit of that money back and it's called upside i've actually used upside for a long time quite a while before they ever became a sponsor of this channel i was trying to think of when i started but it's been so long i can't even remember now it's super simple to use all you got to do is download the upside app then when you're signing up use my code adventure to save an extra 25 cents a gallon off your first purchase of gasoline now as i already mentioned this app is incredibly simple to use once you got your account set up you just check the map for deals in your area and as you can see here i actually have 44 cents a gallon off right now 
So you just hit claim offer and then you have four hours to actually go there and use that offer. Once you get there, you just pay like normal. Everything goes just like normal. You don't have to do anything special once you've hit claim offer. Now this is the painful part of the video, watching the numbers go up, up, and away. But I've got to buy diesel anyway, so knowing that I'm getting 44 cents a gallon back, it feels pretty good. Now honestly, what I normally use my cash back for is I have it transferred to my PayPal account and I go inside and they get me a bag of candy or something like that. But I'm busy today, so we're not gonna do that. Then once you're finished, you just hit I'm done and that's that. You'll get your cash back in two to four days. Whenever you are ready to use your money, you can cash out at any time. You just simply go to cash out. There's a whole host of options here that you can choose from. You can transfer it to your bank account. You can transfer it to your PayPal account. As you can see, there's quite a few gift cards to pick from as well, and you don't have to put it all on one gift card. You can split it up. You can put some in your bank account. You can put some on one gift card. You can put some on another gift card. I've mentioned it several times already, but Upside is super user-friendly, super easy to use. Like I already mentioned, I use Upside all the time. I know I don't have a whole lot of money on there right now. I think $12.35, but... I pretty regularly keep the money cleaned out just because that is my snack money. I was talking to a guy about Upside the other day, telling him about it, and he says, oh, that seems like a lot of extra effort to try to get a few bucks back. But I said, it's, it's really not that much extra effort. I mean, yeah, I'm explaining it all, but once you know what you're doing, it only takes a few seconds extra every time you do it, and you get money back. It's it, basically free money in a way. It's not actually free money, but you know what I'm saying. But anyway, Upside is a sponsor that I highly recommend and I do use all the time. So remember to download the free Upside app today and use my code ADVENTURE to save an extra 25 cents a gallon off your first purchase. So with that being said, let's get back to the adventure. We are making progress, that is for sure. I'm actually shocked at how many of these cars still had converters on them. Uh, this Ranger still has converters on it. The red car still has converters on it. A bunch of the cars that were in this area right here all still had converters on them. I was not expecting that. I thought for sure the converters were all gone. When we bought these cars, all these ones that have the black paint on them, we bought them assuming the converters were gone already. So I'm definitely not complaining, that's a nice bonus. But I'm working my way through here now. The problem is, is Underneath a lot of these, there's tires underneath them, and I've already stuffed tires in most of them. Some of them don't have any tires, like I don't think this black Durango has any, so when I pick it up, whatever tires are underneath it, I'll have to shove inside it. But we are making pretty good progress. I think most of this row right here are pretty well ready. Now the Lincoln, I think it still has the converters on it as well. Mostly, they're ready to go. Oh, uh, what's over here? Yeah, this Dakota. And what was back here? Oh, the... The little forerunner this isn't a solid front axle so i'll probably go ahead and grab this out of here and smash it i think there was something in the back of it though oh yeah there's a copper radiator and a pair of old doors off of something i don't know if they're off like a, a willies or off a little jeep or what they're off of but i'll probably hang on to those so i'd say probably today i'll have pretty much all of these in this area cleared out and i'll probably be have a good good start on that row next door one issue i am having is i'm pretty well out of room to stack cars with aluminum wheels over there now and uh, I can't find anybody to come pull wheels for me. The ones that are already stacked, I'll probably go ahead and leave there. But from now on, as I grab them out of the rows, if they have aluminum wheels, I'll just pop them off myself. Well, things turned around today. Everything is going great, other than my drone. That's still an iffy situation, but we're not gonna talk about that right now. <laughs> I got a hold of Jason. He's gonna be here tomorrow to help pull aluminum wheels, so I can wait on that. Also, I found a good battery, so I'm able to try out my shear. I bought it at an auction not long ago. I used it a few times, and <laughs> that thing is awesome. I'll show it to you here in a little bit. I have to get back to moving these cars right now. But we are done cleaning cars out of this area. I think, oh, there's one cab left over there still, and then there's that blue truck way back there by that Mustang. The Mustang, I'm gonna hang on to it. I'm gonna cut the front and the trunk off of it. It still has really good paint on it, so I figured those will make good late model wall hangers. And then I can go ahead and start working on this row right here.
there we go got them all crushed out once again I am out of cars to crush until I get those aluminum wheel ones processed what I was doing with this truck bed right here in case you're wondering is I wanted to save the truck bed because I can use these to carry stuff around and when I was loading trucks I would just take truck beds like this full of junk and just dump them in the back of the trailers but uh, I'm not going to be loading trucks again for quite a while most likely and I could really use the truck bed so the next best thing is well you could always unload it by hand but I don't want to put that much effort in. So the next best thing is just take it up here to the crusher and I've learned how to kind of shake it, dump the stuff out. I told you I was going to show you my new toy and then I forgot. I ended up using it and using it and using it and I just about ran the battery dead. That battery was just about dead already when I put it on there but it had a little bit more spark than that one did. That one there was completely dead. But anyway I hope it has enough juice for one more cut so you guys can see how it works. I've always wanted these things it's totally awesome. That is just too cool. That is way, way faster than using a sawzall and is not nearly as loud as using a chop saw and it's faster than a chop saw too. I'm hoping the big battery will take a charge. They had it sitting in their warehouse so who knows how long it's been sitting without being used. So hopefully it'll take a charge. If not, I can always get a new one later and I can always just use random batteries out of cars that have half a charge in them. I mean, even that battery there was almost completely dead and I still managed to cut. <sighs> All of these converters quite a few and something else i thought of is i could always hook jumper cables up to it and just hook it up to my truck and that'll give it juice that way it'll work so super handy little unit like i say i've always wanted one of those things and i got that for about a fourth of what they cost new so pretty stoked but now i got to pick all these catalytic converters up then i'm going to head out in the morning i should have help and we can get busy getting some more cars processed <laughs> Well, we didn't clean out that whole pile of cars. We got rid of some of them, but all the batteries are dead on everything, so we were not able to finish. I still have two converters on this I got to cut off. These are really hard to rip off with the forks, so I don't even try. I just kind of poke on the muffler a little bit and scoot it over. Then I can make a cut right there, make a cut right there, and then a cut right there, and they come right out. But anyway, we'll worry about those tomorrow if I have time. If not, we'll finish that up next week. This is what it looks like out here now. Looks pretty barren. I'm keeping some of these out here that are still sitting around. That's why they're still here. For various reasons, but it's looking a lot different out here. I took a few trees out. I think I'm going to take a handful of trees out of here. I'm not going to take all of them out because I kind of like the tunnel look of being able to go through these tunnels. It makes for really good pictures and stuff like that. So I'll probably leave all of the, the full size trees. I may just trim them up a little bit. But like over here, these trees right here in this middle section, I'm going to go ahead and take all of those out. And then I think I'm going to go ahead and take that elm tree out. It's pretty well dead anyway. And all the scraggly trees, trees there around it. And that'll open up this whole field area right here. And it kind of goes back in the trees. Then back here, that 
whatever that stump is right there I'm gonna go ahead and take that out that'll clean up a little bit of room come through here take out all of this bushy stuff I can see these these trees here there's some dead limbs up in there I'll go ahead and take all those out I'll just come in here with the excavator and do all that yeah it's looking a lot different now this car here is just junk but there was a bunch of stuff laying around on the ground so I set it there so we could throw all the stuff in that got that taken care of yeah it's looking a lot different I'm keeping the old panel van for now it has a few good parts on it some good doors and stuff and those panel vans are somewhat popular so with prices being low I'm gonna be a little bit more picky on what I crush up in here I think I have just a few vehicles right here to crush I'm gonna go ahead and keep the old truck over here the older one out of the 80s I don't know why I don't think it's really worth anything it's super rusty but like I say prices are down now so more stuff gets to live there's three cars in a row right here I think one of these still has the converters on it it's the ones that are on the side of the motor really hard to get off but then the other two are ready and then over here I've got a couple Jeeps here in the trees and then up here I've got a handful of cars that are just junk scattered through here not a whole lot left though I think probably another good two days of doing nothing but processing cars and pretty much all of this will be done so I was just walking around checking stuff out and I saw this funky fungus if you know what this is let me know I've never seen anything like that before it's kind of crazy looking yeah I have no clue what that might be I've never never ever seen anything like that before looks almost like coral I took some pictures of it I'm gonna try to figure it out but if you know what it is let me know in the comments all this rain we've been getting mushrooms are growing like crazy unfortunately morels only grow in the early spring so <laughs> none of those are growing all spring long we didn't get a drop of rain hardly just well, there was a good stretch there we literally didn't get a drop of rain I mean it was bone dry extreme drought conditions and now now the spring's over and we're getting into summertime We've been getting quite a bit of rain. But that concludes this video. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on tomorrow. If something interesting is going on, I'll get the camera back out. But uh, other than that, I'll be back out here next week. I think a good two days of processing cars will have all the cars in this area ready to go. Right now, all I'm doing is once they're processed and ready to go, I'm just stacking them by the crusher. And that way I can fire the crusher up one, maybe two more times and just crush them all out. So definitely we are finally seeing the end of the tunnel. I'm looking forward to getting back to the other yard. I know it's probably a nightmare in there. I'm probably sure it's probably packed with cars because I haven't been there in a month and a half now, but I'm ready to get in there and go to town and make some progress. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe. I hope your day is absolutely fantastic and remember to get out there and find an adventure. We'll see you on the next one.